All right, this is a What's Grind My Gear Part 3. It has to do with the dice game called uh, Battlefield 1. As of today, I'm done with it. I've tried, and I've tried, and I've tried. I cannot get these stupid ass guns to fucking fire right. I can't even get to shoot the broadside of a barn to save my ass. It is not worth the pain and suffering. And no, I don't care that I put a little bit of money into it extra for some stupid skins that don't even improve the gun's control. It's not worth it. It's just not worth it. Not to mention the notable amount of bugs I've come across during the campaign mode. Such as the one where I couldn't get the freaking thing for the damn bird. It fell through the freaking map. There was no way for me to get to it. And two, no third person mode. You can't switch between first and third person. That's a big time piss off. And the only way you can see a person is you spot them. Then they show up on radar. What the fuck, man? Even in most games I have played, they still show up on radar. Spotting them just highlighted them. Made them a little bit more visible and easier to get to. But they still showed up on radar. I cannot stand this trend. They keep doing it. More and more games are like this now. Where there's this little line thing in the radar and you can't tell where anybody is. I can't make heads or tails of it. Nor do I want to. I am very, very old fashioned. I like things I could understand. If it's too frustrating, I'm not playing it. It's not worth my time. I will find a game company more willing to do what you want. That is how I feel. I like games that stick to tradition. To a certain point, some things can be changed that are necessary, other things are not. Three things. Auto-aim, third person mode, dot system radar. They show up as dots or even little blobs I can deal with. But just lines to go straight up and whatever. I can't stand that. It annoys me beyond words. So as of tomorrow, I am trading that game in. I can't stand it no more. I'm trading in. I'm going to put it towards Nintendo Switch, which I am thinking about again. Uh, the new Zelda game, Breath of the Wild. And now I don't care about the thing where they're, do they're hiding a mi microtransaction behind, uh, what was it? Hard mode. You have to buy the DLC just to get the hard mode. Well, guess what? Not a loss to me. I'm not even going to get the DLC. They can care less about hard mode. Not a loss. Other than that, I will be getting, uh, what is it called? Ghost Recon uh, Wildlands. I've tried it, the beta version, and I do like it. Now, that's going to be a thing coming the 7th of this month. And, uh, what is it? Uh, Nintendo Switch is definite. I will probably get it sometime this week. I don't know when, but I have saved up enough money to get so the game that I'm trading in, Battlefield 1, will go towards it. Other than that, thank you for listening. Smash that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment.